Greetings friend, in this advanced tutorial I'll show you how to find and solve Sudoku X, Y wings. I'll explain what they are through examples showcasing all three ways they can appear in a Sudoku puzzle. The last one's the hardest to spot, but can also be the most satisfying. Click below for all the reference puzzles and videos, and with that, it's solving time. For our first example, this is a classic Sudoku by Florian Wortman. I got to the point where I filled in most of the cells and I found a Sudoku XY wing. So let's say you're looking up here and you're trying to solve cells and you notice that this is just a one or an eight uh, because you got the two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, all feeding into this cell. Well, if you started filling out some of the by value cells, BVCs, and I have two cans remaining, you will come across these cells here. Uh, this can only be a one or a four. This can only be a three or four, and this can only be a one or a three. Once you get and see all of these cells, you come across what's called a Sudoku XY wing. All right, and so let me kind of show you what we're talking about here. All right, first we're going to highlight the middle cell, and then these two cells, and I'll explain exactly what we're talking about. So an XY wing, it's the smallest form of an XY chain. A chain is made up of all bi-value cells that are linked together with common candidates, okay? The smallest form can be of three cells. So you have one, two, three cells. Okay, the XY wing must contain all three bi-value combinations of three candidates. So you have three candidates here, a one and a three, a one and a four, and a three and a four. And so those three cans, one, three, and four, can be in those three combinations. One, three, one, four, three, four. So you have all three of those. Next, you have to have one cell, it's called a pivot, that sees the other two cells. So this blue cell is in shares the house with this orange cell, and it shares the row with this orange cell. And so that's called seeing the other cells, right? If it shares uh, the house. And then the other two, the uh, orange cells are called pinchers. They can also be called wings. And they're not going to be able to see each other. If they saw each other, like if it was over here, that would just be a naked triple, right? If they're in the block, if they're in the row or in the column all together, that'd be a naked triple. No big deal. Um, it's also called a bent triple for this reason, because it's going to be bent a little bit. And also XY wings are also called Y wings. You might hear that on Cracking the Cryptic. They use the term Y wing. It's the same thing. All right, here's how it works. Basically, what you can do is you look and see which common candidate are in the two pinchers. In this case, they both contain a one. When you see that, you can eliminate a one from any cell that sees both of these orange cells. So any if there was a one in here, you can eliminate it. There's a one in here, you can eliminate it. There's one in here, you can eliminate it. And you're probably saying, okay, Timberlake, that seems like some voodoo magic. How does that work? Well, the way it you want to validate this is you want to go to the pivot and put in both possibilities for it and see what happens. So if this cell was a three, this cell would have to be a one. And if this cell is a four, this cell would have to be a one. And so either way, one of these orange cells has to be a one. That's why you can eliminate a one from any cell that sees both of these. Okay. And that's, the nice part about it, because it's very easy to validate an XY wing. So in this case, you know one of these cells has to contain a 1, so we can eliminate a 1 from right here and solve this cell for an 8. So in this first example, what you might have noticed is that one of the pinchers is inside the block, and then the other pinchers outside the block sharing the same row as the pivot. Before we get to that next example, if you want to receive exclusive reward puzzle packs and content from setters like this, check out the pinned comment below to join the Smarty Party. Okay, let's move on to our next example. For our second example, this is a classic Doku by Jurganis. I got all the links below, and I want to show you one where the pivot shares a column with one of the pictures and also shares the block with the other one. Okay, so if we're looking here, I fill out all these cans, we can find an X, Y wing. And what you want to do is you want to look again for those by value combinations, three different cells. So if you look right here at this five, six, you might notice that within the block, there's a three, five. So it, can, it shares the five, but also has a three in it. 
Okay, and if we look down the column, you know, so okay, there's a two five, a two three, and then there's a three six. So this would create a good X Y wing. Okay, the reason being is we have all three bivalent combinations of three candidates, three five and six. You have a pincher or yep, a pivot that sees both pinchers. So you got three five here within the block, and you have the other three six down here. All right, and so what we know, and what I told you, is this is a valid x, y wing, and since both the orange cells contain a three, that common can't, we can eliminate a three from any cell that sees both of these, and this is wonderful. It works the same way as our first example, and so what you'll notice is there's no threes to eliminate here in column one, up here in block one, but if you come down here to block seven, you can eliminate a three from these two cells, right? because this can't be a three, it's gonna be, and if you want to kind of validate another way, you can go, okay, what happens if this cell was a three, right? If that cell was a three, then this cell would be a six, this cell would be a five, and then you would could not have a five or a three there because the five and three are right there. So you'd break the puzzle. That's why we know we could eliminate from both of those cells because you'd end up breaking the puzzle otherwise. All right, so we know that can't be a three, but we can solve this cell for nine, and we can move on with our solving. Before we move on to our last example, which is the hardest spot, but the most satisfying, I want you to know that XY wings are just the beginning of understanding an even more powerful strategy called the XY chain. So you will need to check out my XY chain tutorial at the end of this video so you can solve Sudoku even better. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. So let's move on to that third example. Okay, for our third and final example, this is an XY wing that's harder to spot because it's gonna stretch you out among the puzzle a lot, a little bit further. So instead of having two of the candidates share a block, which is the normal way you'll find them, this one, this is an XY wing that all three cells are in different blocks and it's still valid and I'll show you why. So you see, I have some by value cells filled out. You know, take a couple of seconds and see if you can spot where the XY wing is. Okay, congratulations, you spot it. You are really getting the hang of this. So this is from an analysis video I did of Kishore from Unshackling Sudoku and Puzzles. And he was solving this puzzle by R. Kumarasan. R. Kumarasan, famous setter, actually set some of the uh, India Sudoku Grand Prix puzzles this year. And I featured at least one of his puzzles in my solving. And you have to find this XY wing if you want to to crack this puzzle. And he sets it up really nicely to get to this point right here. So you wanna do is kinda of look on the outside here. All right, you probably notice that there's a seven nine right here and there's a two nine right here. If you come across, you'll see a two seven right there. So we have all three combinations of those three candidates, two seven, two nine, and seven nine. Now, do we have a pivot? Yep, we sure do, right here. And do we have two pinchers that see the pivot? We do, right there. Now, neither one of those share the block, but this is still a valid X, Y wing. And the reason being is that they still both see the pivot and they both contain you know, the, the values. Other thing to keep in mind is you have to have all three combinations. This can't be a two, a seven, nine, and this is seven, nine. That is not an X, Y wing. It's not valid, it won't work. It has to be the two, seven, and the seven nine out here with the two nine here in the middle. I just wanted to point that out. So what do we know? If this is a two, that'd be a seven. If this is a nine, this would be a seven. So either one of these orange cells has to be a seven. And so any cell that sees both of them, you can eliminate a seven. So if you look into where both these are, you come right here and notice that you can eliminate a seven from this cell. And this is great stuff. Even though you can only eliminate one candidate, some puzzles are set up so that X, Y wing is what you need to be able to make that solve. And it's not a hard to spot because you're looking across the entire puzzle, but this is a valid X, Y wing. And so you can solve this for a four and eliminate a four from right there and get a six, seven, and you continue solving the rest of this puzzle. You need to check out this next tutorial video if you want to solve not just X, Y wings, but X, Y chains even better. Thank you so much to the setters for these wonderful puzzles, and thank you so much for watching.